Okay, so this is the third video I've made of this engine, or with this engine today. I was just sitting here off camera uh, trying to set, preliminarily set these carbs for an upcoming run. And as you can see here, the carbs are linked by this linkage so that they both theoretically open and close the same amount. Um, so each carb has a throttle stop screw. And this one is really hard to, it's almost impossible to get to. Let me see if I can zoom in on this and really show you this. I don't know if I can. This throttle stop screw is here and it's impossible to get anything on there to adjust it. <clears throat> and of course it's impossible to see if you're setting the opening correctly anyway. So I was sitting here with my mouth just blowing in here, closing each one of these high speed needles independently and setting the low speed needle on each of these things. That really wasn't working for me. So what I'm going to end up having to do here is I'm just going to have to remove these carbs and they're going to have to be preliminarily set off the engine. Now whether I can actually remove these carbs without completely disassembling a lot of the engine is a question. I'm not sure. I have not done this in a long time. I know I've got an intake tube here but I'm hoping that if I can just pull these four screws out that that will loosen up these carbs and I can at least slide them off the intake tubes, disconnect this little thing here and, and treat each carb as an independent unit and preliminarily set the um, idle speed by eye or using a one millimeter approximation and then using my blow test to determine how to set you know the low speed adjustment because I know that tuning a twin knee or twin carb engine is a little more challenging and this one is even more challenging because the low speed adjustments are underneath the engine as it's mounted on a plane or a stand and that makes it a blind installation or a blind uh, thing there so I've got the screws out of here and it looks like maybe take and here's that one that piece of metal that is the baffle take that out that's a baffle that uh, separates the air air flowing into each of these I'm going to set this just like this hopefully I can just pull that off I don't know if I'm going to be able to just do this or not okay cool it looks like I can do that and I can just pop this little ball link off there so that carb is off. I'm going to leave it set on this side, leave the engine like this so I know which side each carb came off of. That can be kind of important. And I can see if this one will just pull right off here also. Okay, there we go. Alright, so let's just move our engine out of the way here. Zoom in here as much as that zoom is going to zoom in on this. Now what I can do is, and you may not be able to see much of this, but now I can see I'm going to have to go get my magnifier again. So unfortunately, you're probably not going to be able to see this because my head needs to be in here so that I can see it. But it doesn't look like... It's really hard to see. There's a little bit of crud on that thing. It's hard to tell if that's actually open or if there's crud making it look like there's a gap there. No, nope, I'm gonna have to run this thing in. So let's open this up, run this screw in a bit. Well, that's a cross point. I'll do it by hand.
that's the thing is when somebody buys one of these things they may not necessarily know how to set these up and, okay that looks like doing anything. Okay, definitely see a gap there now. Okay, so now what I can probably do here is put a little short piece of fuel tubing on here. Close this high-speed needle completely. Now, so I've got the high speed needle closed, so I'm not getting any air flow through there. I'm holding my finger over this, so I'm not getting air there, uh, which is sealed anyway. And I must have this idle speed screw closed completely. So what I need to do is hold this, blow this, Jesus. hold this, blow this, hold that at the same time. I'm opening it. Oh, except I have to have the high speed needle open. So I'm going to set this just so I just barely start to hear air coming out of there. With the throttle closed to the throttle stop position. Okay, so I know you're not seeing or understanding, possibly not understanding what I'm doing here, but or at least not being able to see it or hear it. What I'm doing here now is I'm setting, initially setting the low speed needle. Now, the way I do that is I do this blow test, and I'll set the throttle stop screw to about 1.1 millimeter or, you know, just a very small opening for the initial idle set speed. And hoping that that's right, especially in this situation. Hoping that that'll give me a good low speed idle. With the high speed needle open, you know, I don't know, one and a half turns or so like it would be. Close the throttle and then blow in here and then start opening or closing, whichever the case may be, the low speed mixture until you just barely start to hear air flowing through there. Just, just barely. Then you pretend like that's fuel. So that when you're in idle, you don't want a whole bunch of fuel going in there. You want just enough to keep it going. So that's what I'm doing here. Now, the only kicker that's going to be is it's very difficult for me to see exactly how much opening I've got on here with my throttle stop screw. Okay, I can see it a little bit. It's just a little bit. So now what I got to try and do is try and reproduce this exact same setup over on this car. So I'm going to start with running our. I'm going to have to get a different bit in here because that screw is tight. See, that's the whole thing is that if these things have never actually been adjusted or moved, then that could result in the cylinders not running evenly and it could result in temperature variation in the cylinders running
looks about right. Um, in a sense, a single carb twin cylinder is a lot easier. A lot easier because you don't have to do all of this. But then again, the orientation of these carbs really makes this what's so challenging. So I've just set the, what I think is about the same throttle stop position on both of those carbs. Now I'm going to close. Let's just open it one and a half turns. Put this on here. Okay, just listen. This is high speed, or full throttle open. Now I'm going to close. See how much air you can still hear coming out of there at idle? So now I need to close that one considerably. Now I need to go back and forth between these two and see if that sounds about the same. I could have had two pieces of fuel tubing. Okay, those sound pretty close to me. Now let me just shine my light in here and see if it looks like those throttles are actually closed. Let's see if they have about the same opening. It's just gunk in there. Let me go grab a Q-tip real quick. out of there so I can get a better view. Okay, I see a little bit of get my magnifier on here. Oof, I don't know. I may have to do this again because now I'm not not thinking these look the same. Let's like open a little bit more. They look the same. And I'm going just by ear on this, guys. All right, they sound pretty close. So that's where I'm going to leave it for now because it appears that I'm going to have to start or do a run with this engine before I can do any disassembly unless somebody can provide me with a means to get this prop drive hub off so that I can replace the bearings. So that's where I'm going to leave it now. I am going to put these carbs back on and we'll call it good there.